Hi everyone. This is the second video in my series of videos about my Polaroid cameras. The camera we're talking about today is the Polaroid Autofocus 660. It came out in the early 80s and it was one of the first to include the sonar autofocusing system that Polaroid had developed. The, the autofocusing system works by sending out sound waves to the um, subject and then bounces back and tells the camera how to focus for that subject. Now the camera comes with lots of different um, functions on it. We're going to start by going over the different things on the camera. Here is the sonar autofocus disc right here. And you've got the flash, you've got the actual lens, you've got the exposure compensation. You press it over to the light side or the white side to decide to have a picture that's lighter. Or you push it to the dark side to have a picture that's darker. I generally keep it right in the center and let the camera do the work. You have the viewfinder and the photo cell that helps decide the uh, lighting. Now, the buttons on the side here, the first button, the one with the red on it, that's the one you press to take a picture with flash. The second one, this little one back here, is the one you press, you pull back to take a picture without flash. Now, to load the camera with film, you press this side button here and the film door pops open, like that. Now, I have an old cartridge of film to show you how you put it in here. The batteries for this camera are on the back of the film and touch these little connectors inside to power the flash and the camera. So you push the film in there and you close the door. Now, when I close this door, the dark slide is going to come out, and this is expected on every time you put a new cartridge of film in. So let's do that. Now this little dark slide covers the film so that it doesn't get exposed to light when you're taking pictures and when you're loading the film. Now, as I said, to take a picture, you can either use the flash or not use the flash. When you look into the viewfinder and you hold the button down a little bit, you can see red lights inside there. That means that the flash is not ready to use yet. You have to wait until the batteries charge up the flash to take the picture. Now, I already have some used pictures in here, so I'm just going to show you to, uh, pressing the button and, and seeing if the flash works. Is it lying? It looks like it's ready. There you go, and a picture comes out. Of course, this is an already a used picture. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. So now, um, the other features of the camera are that um, on the back side, you have this little window here that tells you how many pictures you have left on, in that cartridge of film. Now, long ago, Polaroid made film cartridges with 10 exposures, but this, the film that's made today by Polaroid only has eight exposures. And I have both color and black and white here. Now, um, also on the bottom is a tripod mount so that you can put it on your tripod and do pictures without jiggling the camera. Um, it does not have a remote shutter release button or any Bluetooth or any app or anything like that. This is old-fashioned analog photography. Also, when the picture comes out of the camera, don't shake it. You know how they used to say, shake it like a Polaroid picture? These days, you do not shake the pictures. You want to, as soon as they come out, you want to turn them upside down and let them develop. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to put the dark slide over top of it or put it back in the box that the film came in. Now let's look at some examples of photos that I've taken with the Autofocus 660. The first one is a still life that's in my house. And I took this one with the 600 color film using no flash. So I used that second button on the side. Then I had used the same still life with black and white film and took it, um, the same still life in a different angle, with flash. Then my next one I thought was a, one of the best ones I've taken. The sky at night one, one evening was really nice, so I opened a window and leaned out and took a picture with the camera and did not use flash on this. But the colors came out really amazing, I thought. 
and it's pretty clear as well with that sonar focus. And the last one is a selfie that I took of myself using Polaroid 600 black and white film, and I did use a flash here. Now you can see in the background it's very dark around my face. That's because I wasn't up against a wall or anything, and the flash isn't strong enough to light up everything behind me as well. So those are some pictures I've taken and the features of the camera. Now I really, what I really like about this camera is the autofocus part because when I'm using, when I've been experimenting with the Polaroid cameras, um, getting the right focus is, is quite difficult. So having the sonar focus is, is a big benefit to taking pictures. The other benefit I like is having the choice of not using a flash or using a flash. Now, this automatically is going to turn on the flash every time unless you use the second button here to turn off the flash while you're taking the picture. So that is my Polaroid Autofocus 660 camera. If you're looking for one to get started, you can find these on eBay or on the website Retrospect um, or uh, I think B&H might even have them. Um, I got this one from Retrospect, I believe. And it wasn't too expensive, but it's, it's a fun little camera to use and the pictures come out with that vintage look. Um, and I really enjoy it. So if you're looking to get into Polaroid cameras, analog photography, you might want to check out the Polaroid Autofocus 660. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. And I'll be back with another camera in a couple of weeks.